everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Vicki Logan if you guys don't know I am all about being yourself embracing who you are and being the best you that you can be which is why I'm so excited to be partnering in this video with Dove we're gonna talk a little bit about hair discrimination because it is Black History Month I want you guys to fully embrace your crown and fully embrace who you are this month. I wanted to share with you guys my hair story, my hair journey, and also talk to you guys a little bit about what Dove is trying to do and how we can partner with them to forward this movement. So when I was a kid, I can remember very vividly being like three or four years old and loving my hair. Like my mom always used to do my hair different styles, especially like back in the day, you know, we had the different ponytails with the twists and like little barrettes at the ends beads at the ends and like I remember when my mom would like wash my hair and brush it out and I would dance around the house I remember my mom always telling me to just be myself and just love who I am and she let me rock my hair however I wanted because that was just like her way of letting me know that it's okay to be who you are. There was a time period where people were starting to straighten their hair more often than they were getting perms. And I was wearing my hair in two big puffy ponytails to school. And I remember getting made fun of for that. That was my first time experiencing hair discrimination because I thought that my natural hair was fine. Throughout my teenage years, I did wear my hair straight a lot. I remember going to private school. I was one of the only black girls in my grade. So I remember very vividly um, people asking me about my hair like if I would straighten it one day and then not have it straight another time they'd be like oh my god how did you get your hair like that like how did it get so curly blah 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 when I was looking for a job for the first time I remember I was applying to a company and they told me that I couldn't wear my hair certain ways they wanted my hair to be sleek and I was very confused about that because I'm like are you basically telling me that I can't wear my hair natural because that's what it feels like even as a kid and a teenager I experienced a little bit of microaggressions about my hair and it did kind of make me self-conscious a bit because I'm like people really care what your hair looks like even though it's not your hair and it's not on your head people really do care it doesn't surprise me that 86 percent of black teens say that they experience hair discrimination before the age of 12 and a hundred percent of black elementary school girls in majority white schools report experiencing hair bias and discrimination and state that they've experienced this discrimination by the age of 10. I was that girl. Hair discrimination can start as early as five and in most states there are no laws to protect against it which is why Dove co-founded the Crown Coalition that created the Crown Act to end hair discrimination across all 50 states and just bring awareness to the fact that Hair discrimination can start so early for young children and affect us throughout our entire lives. Even as an adult, because let me just tell you, it doesn't stop in your teenage years, okay? As you go off into the workplace, which most of you probably know, there are rules regarding hair. I remember I was on set for a shoot and I had my hair in these really cute braids and I had my edges swooped like we normally do. Y'all know we like to swoop our edges. That's like a must. If you have braids, you gotta swoop your edges, right? And then they said, oh, the brand doesn't like your hair. The brand has more of a clean aesthetic and they would like for you to change how your hair looks in the front. Can you just like move that out the way, brush that back? So they went and got me a toothbrush and told me to go in the bathroom and brush my hair back. And I've also experienced other situations where there were contracts that basically told me that I couldn't wear my hair a certain way. Like it had to be clean um, and simple. They think that you're being a distraction or you're doing too much. It can really hurt your confidence when you have to wear your hair a certain way to appeal to other people. You're not as accepted as someone else because their hair is cleaner or neater. If we can't feel good about ourselves in places where we are supposed to be striving towards success then we probably won't be as successful because we can't be our full selves and that is always so important to me is being your full self showing up fully if you guys wanted to help support dove in the crown coalition you can definitely check out the link in the description to sign the petition to get rid of hair discrimination in all 50 states so i hope that you guys do that and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if it was informative to you please let me know and also if you guys have any experiences that are similar to mine or you have your own experiences with hair discrimination 
let me know because we need to talk about this. This is an open forum you guys can share. This is a safe space and we want to make sure that we are building each other up and also making more safe spaces for girls growing up who look like us to be more confident in their hair, to love who they are, and to feel like they have power over what they present to the world because it's unfair that we have to dumb ourselves down for other people. Continue to fight for equality and inclusion because we deserve it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody that you love. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one, okay? Bye!